Hello, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about traditional web application processing model. Okay. So later on, we 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 also talk about the Node.js processing model. So we can compare to see why Node.js is so popular and uh, better than the traditional way in some cases. Okay. So let's start. Hmm. And uh, when we program the web applications uh, using the uh, GSP or serverlets or using the Spring, like a Spring MVC, I'm a Java back background person, okay? So they are gonna be a multi-threaded, right? Uh, request and the response model. It's gonna have a multi threads. So let's take a look at the details. Suppose now here we have one web application, okay, uh, like online shopping, okay, and uh, deployed on the server. Uh, in academy world, normally we were using Tomcat. Long time ago, we also used the Glassfish, okay. And uh, when this server starts, it's gonna have something called uh, a pool there. What uh, this pool contain? It's not a swimming pool, so it's not the water. It's gonna contain lots of the threads. Okay, thread one, like a thread two, thread n. Okay, and uh, since uh, it's online shopping, okay, so we're gonna have uh, products. So where is our products store? It's gonna be stored in the database. And where is our uh, product has picture? So it's gonna also store the picture using the file systems, okay. So now this is our application and our, uh, our server side, okay. And uh, here we are access to the DB and uh, the file system. Our server is uh, connected to them, okay? Now we have a client come, okay? He want to display all the products, get all the products. So the client, the uh, browser will form a request, HTTP request. Okay, we are contains the request object and the response object. So now the request comes to our server. What's gonna happen? The server will take a look at this pool. Is any pool available? Okay, so here we have uh, n threads. Okay, uh, is any threads available? Okay, and now this request uh, one will be handled by the thread one and after that this thread one is not available suppose now at the same time we have a client two comes request to right what's gonna happen it will take a look at the pool is any thread available because the thread one is already been by you is already serving this uh, request one right so thread one is not available and now the uh, thread two is available so we have uh, the request to come and it's gonna using the thread two we are serve this request suppose now we have a client and come what's gonna happen it's going to have another request. It will check if any request uh, threads here available. We know that thread one, thread two is, is not available. And let's use in thread and suppose we have M number. Okay, I want to make them different. Suppose we have a request N come will be served by threads N. Okay. So let's finish about, uh, so those requests come at the same time. Let's finish one by one. Uh, we come back to the client request one. The T1, thread one, the request one is to get all the products. 
so it will make a call to the database okay and uh, when all the requests all the products is returned then it will return all the products to the client one we put all the information in the response same for the client to okay response to and same for the requ uh, request and client and that's how it happened so the problem now is when thread support th when the request one is trying to get all the products okay and uh, to read for the for the database to return all the products to the client the operation takes two seconds how about so during the two seconds what is doing for the thread one can he do or can't do other things? No. No matter how long the, the operation takes by the database, thread one has to wait. He cannot do other things. If it takes five minutes, thread one will be wait there. Same for the thread two. If it access the file system, it takes for five seconds. Thread two is also wait there. It cannot do other things. And in most of the cases, okay, this client number, which means a concurrent number, okay, which means the clients access the database at the same time. Most of the time, the N is greater than the M number, which means you will have lots of clients come to the web application at the same time, but you don't have enough threads okay because the thread then is limited so for the first m number of the client they will be served by each of the threads in the thread pool but for the remaining they have to wait until the other request is done and the threads is come back to the pool then it will serve them so this is the traditional web application processing model and uh, later on we will talk about the the, the pro the difficult uh, no not difficult the disadvantage of this uh, processing model okay uh thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye